Right. But, uh, Beth, I mean, it's going to be uh, a whole nother story by the end of the week. Yeah, just give it a few more days and a lot is going to change. It's going to be cold and it's going to be snowy. Let's talk about what's going on right now. Mostly cloudy skies out of Chris Kendall Mark. If you had any plans to head out for anything Thursday, Friday and even into Saturday, Folks, you might want to start changing your plans, not because of the snow chances, but because of how dangerously cold it's going to get. I'll get to all those details here in a sec. Mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out maybe a few flurries through the overnight hours. Otherwise, just cold and cloudy. 30 in Indianapolis, 29 in Muncie, 25 in Kokomo. We are slightly warmer than we were at this time yesterday. Winds right now about 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those feel like temperatures just a little bit colder than actual temperatures. Feels like 23 in Indianapolis. As we go through the night tonight, temperatures will drop into the middle 20s, mostly cloudy skies, still very cold for the night tonight. As we go throughout the day tomorrow, still mostly cloudy, temperatures will top off in the upper 30s, and we keep the mostly cloudy skies as we go through Tuesday night and into the day on Wednesday, maybe a little bit of thinning through Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday morning, we start off mostly cloudy once again. Temperatures still cold in the 20s and 30s. Highs on Wednesday will once again be in the 30s. Let's talk about the Arctic blast first. Okay, so it starts to come in. I think Thursday we make it into the upper 30s and lower 40s ahead of this system. And then as this bitter cold air pulls in, that's when temperatures are really going to tumble for Friday, Friday night, Saturday, even into Saturday night and what looks like sticking around into the day on Sunday. Let's talk about the timing of what we can expect. So with temperatures above freezing Thursday, this is Thursday morning, all of the precipitation will likely be rain because we'll be above freezing. This is not great news because with the rain that does that means that road crews can't really treat because it's going to get all washed away. So that's something to keep in mind as we continue. Let's continue through future view, right? Still rain through Thursday afternoon. After midnight is when that cold, bitter blast moves in. Once temperatures drop below zero, rain will transition over into snow, which can be heavy at times. The snow chances, they continue what looks like into the day on Friday into early Saturday, and I can't really rule out some lingering snow showers as we go through the day on Saturday as this system is slow to pull out. As we go into the day on Sunday, Christmas, I think it's just going to be windy and bitterly cold. Now, when I say bitterly cold, I mean temperatures during the day in the single digits, overnight lows below zero. It's going to be windy Friday, Saturday and Sunday with wind gusts up to 55 mile an hour winds possible for the day on Friday. All of that in mind, your feel like temperatures, this is Friday morning, feel like temperatures anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees below zero. That sticks around all day Friday and that sticks around into Saturday morning. This is Christmas Eve, wind chill still 20 to 30 degrees below zero. And that's going to continue as we go what looks like into Sunday morning as well. With all of that in mind, we do have a winter storm watch that starts Thursday night at 7 and continues until Saturday morning. I do expect more winter headlines to be issued as we get a little bit closer to this storm. With that in mind as well, things to remember, there is the increasing likelihood of impactful snowfall. There's really not a question of if we're going to see snow now, it's more of how much are we actually going to see. So the rain transitions over into snow. That rain begins Thursday, all snow after midnight. Adjust your travel plans now with the snow, strong wind gusts, it's going to get slick and visibility is going to drop. Again, that bitter blast is coming. It's just a matter of how cold are we going to get? and how much snow are we going to get? Look at this, 10 degrees is our high Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows dropping below zero. Christmas Day, things are looking real cold. Lindsay.